Houston's behind the counter. Welcome back to Kirsten's Counter, your source for Chinese herbs, medicinal foods, and an optimistic attitude. Today's topic, coffee or not to coffee, that is the question. So yesterday I was on my very first ever live chat with an amazing group of women and this topic came up. So as promised, here's some information on how we actually look at coffee in Chinese medicine. We've got Chinese medicine. Coffee actually has a ton of health benefits. It's full of antioxidants, and because it's the most widely consumed beverage on the planet, there's actually been a lot of studies about it. And those studies show that it can decrease your risk for liver cancer, for prostate cancer, as well as Parkinson's, and even more recently, diabetes. But this doesn't mean you should go out and be like mowing down five cups of coffee a day or anything, because as we know, Everything good has a flip side. Chinese medicine categories. So now we're gonna discuss how we look at coffee in Chinese medicine. It's categorized as having a warm thermal temperature, a sweet and bitter flavor, it enters the heart channel, and it has the actions of activating and stimulating the brain as well as the spirit. And it also disinhibits urination. So what exactly does all of that mean? It means that coffee has a very yang action on the body. It's activating, it's stimulating, it gives you energy. But where does all that energy come from? I mean, it has to come from somewhere, right? So let's take a little jog down memory lane back to where you very first started drinking coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Now just one cup of coffee could jack you up. We're talking about up to 3 a.m. in the morning bouncing off the walls jack you up. Now fast forward a few years where you've been drinking coffee every single day and that one cup of coffee is what you need just to get you going, get you up in the morning. So what happened between there to there? What happened between up at 3 a.m. bouncing off the walls and eating a cup of coffee just to get going in the morning? In Chinese medicine, we look at your energy reservoir, which we call your kidney jing, as something you're partially born with. And from there, you can either add to it or withdraw from it, depending on how you choose to live your daily life. So every time that you drink a cup of coffee, you get energy from it, but it needs to come from somewhere. And you're actually pulling it from that reservoir, that energy reservoir. So after drinking lots and lots of coffee and pulling continuously from your reservoir, pretty soon you need three cups of coffee to give you the same amount of energy as three sips used to give you. So coffee really isn't the best solution for your daily energy boost, but the question is what can you do to keep your energy reserve full so that you don't feel the need to grab for that daily cup of coffee? Part of it, as I mentioned before, is how you live your day-to-day -day life. So this means exercising, getting enough sleep, making sure you're eating a balanced diet, and you're in a calm state of mind. But what do you do during those periods of time where life just gets out of control and this balanced lifestyle is kind of unattainable? I mean, we've all been there and we'll probably all be there again. So what I like to do during those periods of time is I take Chinese herbs to make sure that I'm keeping my reservoir plenished and I'm counterbalancing all of those withdrawals I'm doing because it's such a crazy period of time. There are four formulas that I usually choose from when patients come in complaining of low energy. And the first two are gonna be more for specific situations. The second two are more broad and they can be used all the time. So the first formula that we have is vibrant. And this is good for periods of time when you know that your life is gonna to be totally nuts, but you still have to actually be on. So it's gonna increase mental awareness, physical stamina, as well as vitality and energy. The second formula is shine. And this formula is for when you feel like nothing's going right in your life everything seems to be getting you down now this form is going to help to lift you up and out of that depression it's going to help to promote a positive outlook on life as well as increase energy and a desire to do things the next formula is cordyceps and this is the formula that i actually took when i was getting off coffee and i still take whenever i feel like i'm low on energy or i'm burning the candle at both ends and the reason that this formula is so fantastic is because it actually contains three of the most amazing herbs that are really going to help to replenish that reservoir that we were talking about earlier. Now the first golden herb is Dong Chong Xiao Sao, also known as cordyceps. The second one is Huang Qi, also known as astragali. And the third one is Ren Shen, also known as ginseng. Now together these three herbs are going to increase energy, they're going to strengthen overall constitution of the body, improving overall well-being. The last formula is Imperial Tonic, also one of my very favorite formulas, and it can be used in healthy individuals to help increase mental and physical functions, as well as improve academic and sports performances, so you know that I was mowing this formula down back when I was in grad school. It also helps to increase longevity and overall well-being. 
Now, I use this formula in my practice all the time for patients who have chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, anemia, postpartum, or even post-surgery. Now, if you're still wondering which one of these four formulas, or perhaps a totally different formula, is right for you, please fill out a health profile on my website, kirstenscounter.com, for a free health assessment. Thanks for watching, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.